Hi guys, this is Mustafa. I'm capturing this video to show you a new feature of Ladybug, uh, which I kind of finished it right now, and hopefully it will be available pretty soon when I release the new version, uh, which is based on a Radiance Gen Daylight Matrix. Basically, I removed uh, Gen Cumulative Sky, and now you can use Gen Daylight Matrix, uh, which gives you the, the options to select between Terganza Sky and Reinhardt's Sky. I already ran this for you, like so I have the result here, but you can definitely run it, and, and the, the result coming from this guy like the output is cumulative sky and the cool thing about this is like when you get this you, you have the, the the result for every single hour of the year what's happening in the sky so you can filter so I have a component here that you can select and if I connect it to, to, to the sky dome and press run it takes a while hello for the first one Okay, I got it here, and as you see, this is a, this is just for for a single hour, which is seventh of July at uh, two p.m. So I can just move this slide. You see, like it gives me the the sky for every single hour. And the good news is, like, you, not only you have this sky. If you think you want to run a study, like with more accurate study, you need a denser sky. Now you you have that Reinhardt sky matrix which basically way denser so it's 580 sky patches versus I think 145 sky patches the same here so it's basically the same component so I can go like 12 and like when you can do it for every single hour you, you can do it for, for time range too right so I just remove this and I had this guy connected, so it's for all the year, from any hour to hour 12 until noon, and I can remove this, so we will see the result for the whole year. Okay, so I think this is pretty cool. It, it gives you lots of options, and now you can run, like, hourly studies. But there is something even more cool than this that I'm going to show you right now, which is the main reason that I'm capturing this video. So w when you have the sky, let's say we have the annual sky, we run the study, you, you can run a normal radiation study. I have a kind of a model here, and I'm using a dense mesh, which is like every two meters, so it will take a while, uh, a minute, I think. So I stop the video, and when, when it's done, I'll just continue. Okay, so it, it took a minute, actually, to run. So this is the radiation result for for the whole year right and now it took one 1 1.2 right so if I want to go through all the time steps that I showed for the year and if I want to wait even if it's really fast like a minute is not that much but you should wait like 8,000 minutes but what you can do is now there is an intersection matrix here so once I run the study I calculate the intersections and it's basically the relationship between the test point and sky patches so you can use this guy with the selected the sky matrix that comes from this component that you already saw and then you can actually produce the results real time so I can just go through hour by hour of the year and it reads the result, I mean it recalculates everything because you have the intersection already ran once as far as you don't change your geometries uh, you can just calculate it for every single hour of the year so it's pretty useful if you want to get the hourly profile for radiation for example for previous studies or mainly research studies or you, if you have a big context like an urban study that you run the radiation analysis once and, and you want to get the result for a few hours of the year, I think it's going to be pretty useful. Uh, I'll I'll release this stuff pretty soon. I'm I'm working hard now to get it done by this week or next week. Okay, thanks for watching.